I talk about website security and website backups and offsite backups a lot on this channel. One of the key reasons is because it's incredibly important, especially if you're running a business. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to look at Blog Vault, who've kindly sponsored this video. But as always, I'm not going to give you any opinions. I'm simply going to demonstrate how it works. Then you can make a more informed decision for yourself. Okay, so what exactly is Blog Vault and what does it do? In its simplest terms, Blog Vault is a comprehensive WordPress backup and security solution designed to ensure the safety and integrity of your website. There are plenty of key benefits, things like reliable backups, enterprise grade data security, one click restore, integrated staging environments, effortless migrations, and more. We'll take a look at those a little bit more later on. But let's take a look at how you connect everything up, see how the process works, and then I can show you how simple and straightforward this is. So once you've signed up for an account, and you can sign up for a test account if you want to, no credit card details are required, so you can test this out and try it for yourself. And if you want to find out the latest offerings and everything else, check the links in the description down below. So once you've done that, you'll come into the dashboard, and the first thing we want to do is add a site in. I'm going to use a demo site for this on a completely blank copy of Blog Vault, but I'll show you a little later some of my sites and how they're set up with a sort of longer term view. So what we need to do is click to add our site. I'm going to drop in the URL for that site. Now we're asked to either auto install the plugin by adding in our username and password for that website, or we can manually install the plugin. Or if we already manually installed it, we can test to make sure that the connection is working. I'm quickly going to do that and then we'll carry on. So once you've connected the site to Blog Vault, you'll come back into the dashboard and your site will be listed here. If you have multiple sites, the newest one will be added into your list. And as you can see, this is doing a couple of things. It's giving us some information about the actual site itself. There's some various different services and we'll take a look at those in a moment. But you can see what it's doing right now is synchronizing the site. Now this takes a couple of minutes depending upon the size of your site. This is a pretty basic site with just some sample data on it, so nothing to really worry about. And this is probably gonna take about two minutes to connect everything up. But obviously, your timing may vary depending upon the size of your site. But there we go. The first sync has completed, and we now have one backup created. So inside here, you can see this is our backup section. If we open this up, we're going to show us all the information and all the tools we have available for the backup side of things. But this is all inside that WP Remote dashboard. Now, if you want to see more about the dashboard itself and how WP Remote all works, you can check out these videos next and the links are in the description down below. But what do we have? So first of all, it tells us the number of backups we have. Now, obviously, the longer you have this, the bigger they will become, the more backups you kind of get the idea. So we can run a manual backup if we want to. We can restore a site from here. We've also got some options across the top. So we can migrate from one domain to another. So if you were setting things up maybe on a test server and you want to migrate them over, you could use this to do exactly that. Or if you're moving over from one hosting company to another, you could use the same tools and options here. You can auto restore. You can upload to Dropbox. You can download a backup and you can test restore. Let's take a look at the files and things inside you. If we open this up, this will show us all the files that have been backed up. It'll also tell us any files that have been skipped. So we've got this connector, but you can see how everything is backed up inside you. You can add if you want to, you can ignore, and you can also download files, all, all of the files. So if you wanted everything, you can select that from the list, click on download and access all of those. So that's the file structure. And as you can see, if we hop over into the second option, this will show us all the database tables that have been backed up. And again, we have the same option here. We can easily select any or all of the database tables and download those. Now, if you're running a WooCommerce store, the last thing you want to happen is have something go wrong with your site and you lose a bunch of orders. Even if you've got backup frequencies of one minute, there's still the potential to lose orders if something technical goes wrong with your website. This is where real-time backup could save your bacon. What this allows you to do is have real-time WooCommerce backup that captures every order and other important events on your website and creates a backup. This does it without slowing down your site, which if you have a WooCommerce store and it is a store that's busy, this could be really, really useful to you. All you need to do to enable that is flick the switch at the top. I'm running a demo site here just to show you how it works, but that's all you need to do and set up any options that need to be configured inside there. So let's take a look at how we create a manual backup, and then we'll take a look at how easy it is to restore your site. So if you want to create a backup, all we need to do is click up the backup now. If you want to add any information inside here about the backup, we'll just add in sample backup for this case, and we'll click OK. This is now going to start that backup process like we saw when we originally set everything up. That's going to complete everything, and once that's done, and you see how easy that is, we'll take a look at how we go and restore the site. 
There we go, there's our backup completed. And if we take a look at show all backups, this will then show us information about each of the backups that we have. So we can easily compare things here if we want to. So let's try a test restore and see if that works. So this is gonna go through the process now of create a stage insight for us sort of decrypting that zipped up compressed data, copy the data over, and then we'll have a testing site or a staging site set up so we can make sure that everything is in place before we then push this to a live site. And there we go, we now have a new staging site set up for us with relevant login details, and we can visit the site, we can jump into the WP admin to make sure everything looks and works correctly. So if we click to open this up, and that takes us over then into our site, so we can test this out on our staging site, and if we're happy with everything, we can just push this over. Or if we're gonna make changes and updates before we want to push this to live, you can log into your dashboard, make the changes, test everything on the staging site, then when you're happy and everything's working correctly, push that over to your live site. Let's take a look at that. So now we can simply go and restore our site, it asks us what do we want to restore. So we can select files, database, jump to the advanced options and copy the file permissions over. A pre-restore checklist completed. So it tells us everything looks okay. So we'll say, yep, yeah, we're happy with everything there. And we'll click on continue. That'll go ahead and restore the website back to exactly as it was. So now that we've seen how this all works and how to set everything up, let's take a look at some of the reasons why you may want to consider using Blog Vault for yourself. As we already discussed, you've got a reliable backup solution that offers incremental backups that are efficient and dependable, ensuring your data is consistently protected without overloading your server resources. You've got enterprise-grade data security, one of the key important things that I think you need to consider. So all backups are encrypted and stored across multiple data centers, providing robust protection against data loss and unauthorized access. You've got simple one-click restore, as we've just seen. Integrated staging environment, so you can easily create staging sites to test changes or updates in a secure environment before you deploy them to your live site, reducing any kind of risk of errors or problems. You've got easy and effortless migration, so it simplifies the process of migrating your WordPress website from one domain or host to another. The real-time backup for WooCommerce, if you are running a WooCommerce store, this could be something that in itself is worth the investment. Just knowing you've got that data being backed up every time orders are placed, giving you peace of mind that if anything goes wrong, you can easily put things back to where they were. As we already talked about, you've got additional comprehensive security features. So as part of everything, including that WP Remote, you've got additional security measures that you can use to protect your site. Things like from malware, using malcare, and so on. Now, if you're running a WordPress multi-site, you can also have this to support multi-site networks, allowing you to efficiently manage and backup multiple sites within your multi-site network. So that demonstrates how easy it is to set everything up, but also some of the reasons and benefits why you may want to choose something like Blog Vault to handle the backup, migration, and everything else to do with your website or websites, especially if you're using WooCommerce. Now, if you want to find out more or you want to take this out for a test drive for yourself with no credit card required, links are in the description down below. And be sure to check there for any special offers that may be running specific to the WP Touch channel. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Touch, and until next time, take care. Thank you.